All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to a Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked doubles video. Today I'm here with a team I found on, I think it was uh, Cybertron's channel. It's another YouTuber that does like VGC stuff. Uh, you know me, you know them. So uh, it's a cool team. It's it has a uh, the main thing I wanted to like use here is the you know Gar It's sick, and also it's the G Max Grimmsnarl, which also is very sick. So yeah, I also recorded another video that was supposed to go up today, and it was really great because I lost all three battles that happened in it because I had an Ice Q team and two battles had Scarfed Chandelure, which is literally like okay then. But uh, I, I I checked back on the audio and the audio was like all gargly and broken and screwed, so. Now I have to do another one at 3 in the morning and I want to go to sleep, but for now we're going to be doing this team and hopefully it'll win games and be very good. And yes, so without further ado, I will be back when I get into the first battle. Alright, I am back with the first battle and I think I'm facing a Chinese player. I don't think I've ever faced a non-Japanese player before. But that's Chinese, right? I've... Actually, okay, no, well, okay. I faced like... I never faced Chinese before. I think it's just the hour I'm doing this, which is three in the morning. But I've never faced like a Chinese player before. I faced like other languages, obviously, but never Chinese. That's crazy. So their team is pretty standard, barring the Malamar, which I'm assuming the Whimsicott's gonna do like the, the like the, the, the there's something that like the Whimsicott can do to the Malamar. I don't know what it is. I forget what it is, but I know it can do it. So I'm assuming it's gonna be that potentially. That's very descriptive. I know, but I'm tired and I don't remember. So. <laughs> Notably, their team sort of just loses to Darmanitan. Uh, the issue with that would be Excadrill in the sand. Hmm. My Excadrill is Mold Breaker weakness policy. Togekiss is very good here with the Follow Me. Could protect Darmanitan if they don't have Earthquake. Um, Primarina is pretty good here as well. I kind of think the... I'm just gonna go Sneasel Grimmsnarl because I know it works. That's what this team's built around. But they have Sylveon, so I'm gonna bring Excadrill in the back as well. And I think I'm gonna bring the Togekiss. Togekiss, yes, Togekiss, Togekiss, yes, sure. Let's go with it. I think Darmanitan hand could have been really good here too, but I don't know. It's a uh, Life Orb, not Scarf, so I'm not really sure. They wouldn't really outspeed uh, much, I don't think. Like not enough anyway. If it was Scarf, it probably would still get outsped by Excadrill in the sand, so would still just die probably. All right, what you got, my dude? Tyranitar and Sylveon. Okay, so I did definitely have a, a suboptimal lead here. Yikes. Um, Pixie Plate. So I know what they're gonna do. It's clear as day. And I think. I'm going to fake out Sylveon. And go for a max snooze. As weird as that may sound. Oh, I could max Starfall. I have a lot of options here, actually. Like, more than I realized. Yeah, I'm gonna actually get a max snooze. It's a weird choice, but I'm gonna max snooze into the Sylveon. I don't care which one I hit, I just wanna put them to sleep if I'm being honest. Okay, I need to remember. Oh my god, I just read something really bad about G Max Grimstone. I need to not max Starfall. I didn't even notice that was shiny, it's sick. I need to not max Starfall because it will set the terrain that wakes them up because it prevents statuses, if I'm not mistaken. The... Oh, no, wait, no, wait. Yeah, yeah Misty Terrain does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that... Yeah, 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 yeah. It does that, it does that, it does that. So, they should both be going to sleep next turn? What? Is it a chance? I missed both? Bruh. Bruh. Bro. So I'm now gonna Screech and I am now going to Max Starfall. I think they're gonna quick attack into the Tyranitar. If they Hyper Voice and still survive it, I'm pretty sure. They could also quick attack Sneasel here, which I think would be a phenomenal play for them because it would prevent the Screech, so they might actually live the Dynamax Tyranitar. 
but it's a very specific set that I don't think they're going to know unless they've seen the the video it's from that I found it on because I, I searched G-Max Grimstone and I found this and it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's actually like a super cool team. I, I like it a lot because it's a good team. It's also very unique. Alright, so... Assuming I get the Screech off, I would not be surprised at this KO Tyranitar. I didn't get the Snooze, so I had no reason to not max Starfall here. They protected Sylveon. Let's go! Okay. I think Grimstone will outsped Tyranitar as well. Yeah, because I was confused. Yeah, because I was questioning the, the sleep as they hit me with the Rock Slide. I remember that. Goodbye. That did not kill. Did I miss? I know Screech can miss. Did I miss Screech? Bro, I just threw the entire game because I missed Screech. Bro. That's not good. Did I just miss Screech? I'm pretty sure I just missed Screech. Max Knuckle? That's definitely not it. Actually, that might be into Sneasel. That was not a good idea. Um, That actually just changes the entire course of the battle. That's not a good idea. <laughs> I just bring out Excadrill now and Iron Head the Sylveon. Okay, so that went very well for me because they made a misplay. That's fine. No snoozes, but I killed two Pokemon here, so I can't really be upset, you know? Because they already used Protect on Sylveon, and I outspeed Tyranitar with Grimmsnarl. I need to check their defense, because I'm actually about to be upset, because I would have KO'd. I would have saved a Pokemon there. Yeah, I did. I did. I missed the Screech. <laughs> Or it didn't affect them for some reason, but I'm pretty sure I missed it. I, I was, like, half paying attention, because I looked over at my moves on my other screen. Because I have, like, a screenshot of the, the, the rentals code pulled up, because I wanted to look at the moves and stuff. And, yeah. I'm going to go for the Iron Head into Sylveon, I'm going to go for the Max Starfall into you, and I'm going to KO you, and you are going to lose the game. GG. You're... Oh, wow, a Max Guard. Never saw it coming. Whoa. Next turn, I can double you. Oh, wow, quick attack. Ow. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm never gonna judge your damage again, Sylveon. Be gone. Okay. That's a threat. <laughs> that was kind of the only threat to Grimstarl, though. Not gonna lie. At least, like, because, like, next turn, Excadrill could deal with Tyranitar if need be. Kind of upset that I missed the Screech, but whatever. That's, like, literally the downside of using the move is that you can miss it. Sneasel? Grimstarl's a crazy combo, though. It's really, like, specific, but my god, is it fun. Okay, um. Well, now I'm worried. So I think either way, I aim for Tyranitar. I think. Yeah. Let's do it. I also did not know Grimmsnarl got Power Whip. Pa Grimmsnarl gets so much coverage, it's not even funny. It's actually kind of an incredible Dynamax Pokemon. And I almost want to use it a little bit more, not going to lie. It's really good and it gets frisk so you can know their items it's such a good pokemon competitively but everyone is so focused on prankster so i might play around with grimstarl in the near future not gonna lie it's also immune it's immune to opposing prankster should have mentioned that as well it's immune it's immune to opposing prankster so it's got a lot going for it max rockfall that's definitely into grimstarl for sure so grimstarl does go down however this iron head should ko tyranitar Oh no. Oh no. God, I wish I had Earthquake at a time like this. Did I just lose? <laughs> Come on, dude. I had such a bad time with the Ice Q team earlier that didn't even see the light of day because I screwed up the audio. I hope the audio is working on this, by the way. If it's not, I, there's an issue with my OBS that I need to address. They're going to rock slide and rock my world. So I'm going to do the same. What if they ground move Excadrill? Wouldn't that be funny? What if I had Protect? Wouldn't that be funny? They're probably just gonna Rock Slide. I'm just gonna... I'll Heat Wave. Yeah, I'll do it. Whatever. I don't think I have a chance here. I think they just Rock Slide and just destroy me. Just poof, gone. Easy win. For them. I'm not taking a hit from that Women's Cut. Ah, that's rough, dude. That's a rough battle. Ain't gonna lie. That didn't go my way. Not like how I was hoping. Oh. And that kind of ensures the rocks that I just used is not KO Tyranitar, huh? Miss. Mmm. Okay. GG's, my friend. 
That's a loss for me. I'm so sad that my Togekiss does not have Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> I flint. I give up. <laughs> that's so annoying. That's so annoying. It's almost. That's almost as annoying as the double uh, Scarf Chandelure that I ran into with the Ice Q team. Like, seriously, it's an Ice Q, and when you are in your Ice Face form, Chandelure, when Scarf, just barely outspeeds you. It's so annoying. Oh, I was so upset. Now I'm mad that I lost this one because I was very happy with how it went at the start. I also, me, I missed my Screech as well. Missing the Screech kind of cost me, not gonna lie. Because Tyranitar, like, I can guarantee whatever the last Pokemon was, it was not as much of a threat to Togekiss. Actually, they had Excadrill, so maybe it could have been. Uh, anyway, let's see where my rank falls again, dude. This is what happens whenever I get in your top 1,000, I get unlocked. Oh my god! I just lost 3,000 points! What?! Excuse me? What? What? What rank was that person that I lost so many points? Well, whatever. I'll be back when I get into the second battle. Okay, I saw the. Oh, oh, oh. This person is rank 17,375. I lose to them, I lose so many points. And I'm using this weirdo team. And they have a weirdo team with a Dreadnought and a Togedomaru. <sighs> of course they have a stupid Duralith on too. What the heck? <sighs> hmm. <laughs> what if I just went with exactly what I did before? I'd probably end up losing if I'm being honest. I almost want to bring Primarina. Hmm, Primarina. Mmm, nah. I think Togekiss has potential here. It kind of loses to Togedomaru, and it also is ignored by Duraldon entirely, and then Dreadnought hurts it a lot as well. In fact, no, I'm probably not going to bring Togekiss, because it could also get taunted or faked out by Sableye, and I'm just going to bring Darmanitan, because that seems pretty good here. And honestly, I'm not really looking forward to fighting their Togekiss or their Braviary and stuff like that, so I think Excadrill is phenomenal here. Let's go, gamers. Woo! I'm half salty right now, not gonna lie, okay. See, I, I, I'm like on tilt because of the Ice Q stuff, right? I keep like referencing it. I know you guys didn't see it and I'm sorry about that, but I literally could not post that. That was awful. The audio was like gargly and staticky and a special, ooh, it was so bad. Anyway, uh, uh, okay, you're gonna rain dance, bro. You're gonna rain dance on me right now. You're gonna do it and I'm not a sash on Sneasel. And I can't fake out Sableye and you're gonna die in a Max Dreadnought. Oh boy, here we go gamers, it's time to the game, okay, I'm gonna hit you with that screech if I get the chance to, I'm gonna go for this G-Max over Max Overgrowth, let's go gamers, they cannot burn me, the Sableye, I need to remember that because they cannot burn my Grimmsnarl because I am a dark type, the Sableye can't touch my like, Pokemon right now, it can fake out, but it's probably gonna rain dance, it's gonna rain dance for the Dreadnought, set up Stealth Rocks, and I'm just gonna have a bad time from there because I brought Darmanitan and Togekiss, which are both I brought Excadrill. I brought Darmanitan and Excadrill. Excadrill loses the water types and Darmanitan loses the Stealth Rocks and water types so I just lost the game, pretty much. It's just basic math. I should have G-Max uh, snoozed. I should have G-Max snoozed and hoped I put them to sleep. That's kind of my only chance I had, I think. I'm in for a bad time. I'm in. Oh. Aren't you peculiar? Well, wasn't that a choice you made? Okay. Did I miss? What does Screech do? No, I don't want Pokemon to learn Screech by breeding. Lowers opponent's defense two stages. Pokemon hit in battle selected target. Am I an idiot? Since when does Screech not hit both opponents? Bro, I'm stupid. On the bright side, I think I just killed Sableye. Yeah. So I'm stupid. Sorry, gamers. I know you had faith in me, but I'm an idiot. Um, 
Screech does not hit both opponents. I was thinking Hyper Voice in my head, and then applying that to Screech. Um, Baymax Rockfall, meaning there's no Stealth Rocks. And they also don't have Rain, which is why I Ally Switch, to make sense. Um, but that means their mana tans faster, so... What is Dreadnought's speed? I've never looked for obvious reasons. It is Dreadnought's base 74 speed. Their mana tan. Space 95 speed. So as far as I'm aware, I outspeed you, my friend. So I'm gonna go for this sheer force boosted. Ooh, that's a mistake. That's not also not sheer force boosted. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this flare blitz into your toe kiss because I'm not a fan. And I'm gonna go for this G Max Snooze into your toe kiss. <sighs> Do I have Rock Slide? Screw that, I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide. I'm gonna go for Rock Slide, and I'm gonna go for a G-Max Snooze into Dreadnought, but if you redirect it, it's still okay, because I have a chance to put you to sleep. If they follow me, it's fine. Probably should Starfall, but I want the chance to snooze, because what's the point in using G-Max Grim Snarl if you're not gonna snooze? G-Max Stone Surge, they are faster, and I don't understand that one. Tell me that logic, that doesn't make any sense! What? Sleep. What the? What does this move do? I'm so I'm salty. What does G Max Snooze do? A dark type, fifty percent target falls asleep. Target. Well, the targets targets into falling asleep on the next turn. 50% I've hit I've used the move twice that's four opportunities and didn't get any of them is that what I'm hearing and what is this Dormanitan spread that they outsped me bro is this EV trained or is this in game I'm sorry if I'm judging this person's team, but I'm I'm sad. It's obviously probably a great team, but the Darmanitan is. What are th are these actually chosen spreads or are they random? Cause I get the feeling that they're random. They don't feel right. No, oh, well this is right. That doesn't seem right, but probably is. But they. It just ew, that hurts me so much. I planned around outspeeding. It's our manitan. It's slow as dirt and needs to outspeed things. Why was it not? <laughs> ah. I need the iron head. It isn't over yet. 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 Your play here was to hit X drill, did you? You did. I could have protected and just hoped they didn't follow me, but it didn't make sense for them not to, so I don't know why they didn't, but actually they probably dazzling gleam made sense. But I should have protected Excadrill. I could have gotten a weakness policy boost and guaranteed won the game. However, that was a phenomenal turn for me regardless because I killed two Pokemon for, the, for my one. Now it's a 1v1 and both of the Dynamaxes are gone and it just comes down to just Grimmsnarl 1v1 whatever they have. And the answer is probably not, but I am faster if I use Sucker Punch, so. Oh wait, is it safe? No, I killed Zablai. Braviary. Okay. Well, I would like to say it's an even playing field, especially if they use close combat right now. I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch. If they bulk up, it's over. But most don't run that. Does it get that? I'm thinking Corviknight. It probably doesn't get that. Punch in the face. Easy 50%. What are you going to do? Brave Bird. You're going to eat some extra damage. Okay, gamer. You're 
choking. Bro, I'm done with Pokemon. I'm so I'm so, I'm so tired of Pokemon, dude. I'm, I swear to God, I'm gonna beat a Pokemon, dude. I'm so upset. I just lost to an ice cream cone that was ranked like 17,500, and I just dropped to rank like 12,000. Bro, I have had not fun luck today. I've had not fun times. I need good vibes. I need better teams. I'm going to use this team again because it was really fun, but I'm very mad right now, okay? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. No, I do not want to play any more Pokemon today. Thank you very much. This is going to hurt my soul to watch. Should I look away? I should probably look away. I'm not going to look away. I'm a man. Let's go. I'm a gamer. Show me. <laughs> no. Why? Why did they do that to my rank, dude? What is that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've had some bad luck recently. Okay. I don't want to use boring teams like Charizard and stuff like that, though. I don't want to use boring Charizard teams and Trick Room teams and all that stuff. I don't want to use those. I want to use G-Max Grimmsnarl teams and Ice Q teams and stuff like that. I want to use the fun stuff. I want the DLC to come out so everyone uses random stuff and nobody cares. I want that to happen. That's going to be very much so fun. But for now, I'm on track to be ranked 30,000 by the time the, the season ends in like a, a week. So, that's going to be fun. For now, I'm going to call it there. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all the fun stuff, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.